Hello YouTube and today on Maxcom Tips we're going to be just doing a quick tutorial on how to install RAM into your um, computer. So first thing you need to do is of course turn it off and plug it and open it but I'm pretty sure you can do that yourself. You guys are quite capable of unplugging. But up when you get to it you're going to notice if you never open your computer there's a lot of different plugs. And I assume this point, once you've bought your RAM already, because you're going to be installing it, you'll recognize what's already there. It's these strips right here. Some are blue, some are yellow, some are red, some are black, doesn't matter. Whatever motherboard you have, it's different. And whatever type of RAM you're putting in is different. Uh, today I'll be putting in DDR2. And this motherboard is special because the blue ones are actually DDR3 slots. The yellow ones are DDR2. And uh, so today I'll be using the yellow ones. And as you can see... I'll uh, bring you guys a little closer. The uh, DDR3 ones and DDR2 ones are quite different. They have the notches in different areas, and so you cannot put a DDR2 or DDR3 in the other slots. Now, as you see here, we have some hooks over here. Sorry for the glare. They're just little white tabs. As you can see, my finger can just easily push it up and push it down. You're going to want to make sure those are pushed down in the slots that you want, as in like outward, so they are not connected. And let me just mount this on my chair here. Then you're going to need to find your RAM wherever you may have it stored. And before you touch anything, you need to touch a piece of metal. Whoops. Touch a piece of metal or some kind of plug or something that makes sure it's not plugged in to ground yourself. Just make sure you're grounded. I'd recommend doing this on like a tile floor, not carpet. And you just grab your piece of RAM. And as you can see, mine right here. You can see one side has a little bit more, um, a little golden tab than the other. So all you have to do is simply line it up and put it in the little notch right there. And then once you just have it set in there, you can just grab it and press down one side at a time and as you see it automatically locked in place for me and the other side you just need to push that in as well and there you go now we have successfully plugged in the RAM you just gotta make sure that it's all tight there oops sorry just make sure right here it's all the way pressed in there, it had a little notch left and press it up here as well just make sure it's all good and once it's good, you just need to put your case back on, run your computer, your motherboard may come up with a, a diagnosis saying like, detect a new hardware or something, but all you need to do is make sure you go onto my computer and make sure that it's detecting the new installed RAM, and you're good. And there it is, your second piece of RAM in there. Thanks for watching for this uh, little tutorial, and uh, stay subscribed for the next ones coming up.